How can we ever know if such a signal is coming from an intelligent source? At the first SETI meeting in 1961, John Lilly proposed that researchers study dolphin languages to help them learn more about what extraterrestrial signals might be like. They analyzed a long sequence of vocalizations from both adult and baby humans and dolphins. With human babies, the slope is nearly level as all sound signals produced occur fairly evenly or randomly. However, as children learn the language of their parents, they narrow their sound repertoire to fit the model to which they are exposed, and as a result, structure is imposed on our speech patterns. Consequently, the slope of this graph converges towards a 45 degree angle. This is known as Zipf's Law. What's interesting is that this same slope appears in different human languages, and seems to be a pattern all humans share. And even more surprising is that this pattern also emerged when Doyle and McCowan analyzed non-human communication. They found that the whistle sounds produced by baby dolphins seem to be distributed in a pattern similar to human babies during the babbling phase. At first, the dolphin whistles are more or less unstructured. And by the time they reach adulthood, the graph converges on a slope of about negative one, which is the same as humans. 